super excited for today. My new favorite comedian is here, Nate Bergazzi. And so we're going to do a podcast, and then we're going to play some golf, play nine holes. We're going to play at the Los Feliz Par 3, which is just like the most classic Hollywood kind of junky course. It was uh, in the uh, movie Swingers. So I'm sure Nate has seen that. I don't know if he knows where the course is. He's from Tennessee, and uh, we just got a lot in common because we like to laugh and we like to play golf. All right, welcome to the Eric Anders Lang Show. Today's guest, yeah. Nate Bergazzi. Yes. You're in an elevator. Someone says, what do you do? What do you say? Uh, I just, I'm a stand-up comedian. That's it? Yep. Real easy. Real easy. What's Stretch the typical the follow-up question? Do you do it full-time? <laughs> do you make your living? That's the most, that's the one, like, <laughs> do you, like, make it, this is your real job? Like, uh, that's probably the most, and uh, the one that hurts your feelings the most. If they say, can you tell me a joke right now, what, do you have a response? You must have developed a response to that. I, I thought of it, actually, the other day. I, I mean, a lot of times I don't, but I have a joke uh, that I did that's the quickest where I say, I, I'll say, because uh, I've been with my wife uh, my whole life since I was 20 years old. And uh, so I went, I went from my mom to her. So I've never had an hour without some lady being like, I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> and now I have a daughter, so I'll never know what it feels like. <laughs> uh, so that's, a, that's about the quickest yeah. that I can get a, a joke out. That's a, a professionally written joke. All right, so we're out here at the Los Feliz Par 3. There's a dog up there. Hey, Snowball. Hey, buddy. You got dog mode. It's not an ad for Tesla, but dog mode is sick. Keeps the climate in the car smart for the dog. I normally do bring him out when I play at public courses, but it's hard when we're filming. Nate, do you travel with your clubs a lot? Uh, so I've traveled with this some because of that, but uh, I'll rent clubs sometimes. I try to not make it like, Whoa, rentals. You know what I'll try to do is, because I'll do it because I want to make myself not rely on just my clubs, so I have this built-in excuse. So I want to be able to be able to say, like, I can play with anything, right. you know? Comedians are a dark group. Why is that? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I think we have the sense of humor of, like, police or, like, soldiers, like, even I'm a clean comedian, but like your brain just can go into like the worst, the most awful thoughts that, but that's where humor comes from is like, you know, what is it? Tragedy plus time equals comedy. I think that's the thing. As we said on the pod, this is where they film swingers. Just a little par three course. I, I don't even know what the longest hole is. It's been, I've actually eaten here more recently than I've played here. They've got a pretty good restaurant. This is it, this is number one. Nate did point out that Ace Cam is basically live on every hole. Some new wedges today. The rusted, they're gonna get rusted. And I kinda wanna talk to you about where you learned comedy on some level. Where do you look at your like, you know, early inspirations or, you know, where you learned? My dad's a magician and is very funny. And so I, I think that stuff seeped into me without even really realizing it. Always about the joke. The, the, the joke is above it all. So it's like everything's trying to be funny. You're just, that's, that's the main thing. That's the main focus. Uh, so I think that was a big part of it. And then as a comedian, as comedians, is like Seinfeld was like the main, you know, that was just the guy, his, his show was the greatest show ever. And, and then his stand up and he was always like very true to it. And then as I got into it, I loved like seeing guys that were like true to stand up. Like Jay Leno kept doing stand up the whole time. And I love guys that were like, yeah, I'm a stand up comedian. They might do other things, but stand up is the, it's the thing that got them there and the thing that they're gonna die doing. And I, I love that. I love just, you know, staying true to what you do. Hey, this is Nate's video. Oh, right on. Nate's a famous comedian. One in 10 people know who he is. What, what's that, the number? You're just one of them. One in 10, it is one in 10. What, what's your last name, Nate? Bargetzi. Bargetzi? Yeah. Right. Netflix special, he played the ace this weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have to be explaining to this, but it's, it's, that's how good it's going for me. I have to really explain who I am. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll catch up with you later, oh, man. man. Yeah, we'll be out there. Thanks yeah. for saying hi, Gordon. Yeah, you got it. 
That's that's the level of fame I have. That you just got to explain it. Maybe that, they're like, oh yeah, maybe I think I've heard of you. And then but that guy's like, nah, he has just no idea. He's like, yeah, what's your last thing? You got, and that's what hurts is that I mean, immediately. I would hope, what I'm gonna make it in my head is that you all called that guy and told him to come talk to you on the first hole. A lot of movement over here. This is the kind of situation where you don't really ever get anything out of your line. Oh, that's, a, that's a lucky par. Yeah. What if it's just nine pars and we just push? It's a pretty good day. Honestly, I, I don't, I'm not into tiebreakers. I feel like then it's just like two good golfers just playing a match. All right, second hole, 120. The match is all square. I think this is just an easy pitching wedge. This is a very tough hole here. There's really a very small window and the flag, for a 120 yard hole, that's a tucked pin. That's a little confusing. Yeah. That's the thing though about like golf courses that I, I like when like it tells the, the hole and the shape of the hole tells you what you have to do. And so it's like that's when you can get, you want to get that good where you shape shots and you know how to like do stuff. And so you're learning, like you know, and you play the hole out as a design, you know, this is a draw, this is a cut, this is a fade, you know, whatever it is. I think that's very fun about a golf course. Then your ability makes the puzzle more interesting, right? Yeah. Oh! Good bar. Technically. All square through three? Did you bogey? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're all square, that's good. See, that's what I love about match play, is eight beats to seven. Yeah. Yeah. That is nice, you know. You know? And you're because you're you, that is you're playing the game that you're both playing that day. Like I love golf because you know I think as a comedian, and I'm sure it's everybody's brain goes crazy, but like your brain is just never stops, right? And it's it can be so exhausting, and you just have all these thoughts. Even if I watch a movie, there's nothing I can do that like can shift my brain from stopping working except golf, because it's how much focus has to go into golf. So like when I when you're at, it's the only time that I feel like I'm not thinking about comedy or career, or, and you just like you just you just go out there, you almost forget you can have a phone, you forget everything because you're just thinking about the course and the. And then trying to, and then when you're working to try to get better, I mean, it's just how much work goes into that is uh, unreal. I mean, I've never putted through leaves before. Yeah. And I feel like if there's a day, it's today. Today. Yeah, then let's put through them. Mm. Oh, that lead just got there. It wasn't there. Oh. Leaving the leaves in was much more beneficial to you than me. Oh, almost tried to go off the leaf. All right, so the sixth hole has presented us with a tricky scenario. 110. Why do you, why do you say 110 and it says 112? I'm like an estimator. I'm just like, I, my brain you can't just, calculate uh, two yards. So you just go off of... Uh, like the signs, like the people that made this course go be like, we put 112 down there for a reason. Why do you just, every over one you just go, you never say, it's like you have a problem with these people. If you told me you hated the guy that made these signs, I would believe that. And you just, out of spite, refused to say the number that he took the time. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's, it's, it's laziness, really. Hey, uh, Gordon, feel free to join us for the last couple if you want. You're gonna be on camera though. What do you get? You got a US Open shirt. Did you go to Pebble think, this year? Uh, my my brother-in-law went. They live up uh, in Morgan Hill. And they uh, sent me some gear. Nice. Nate's gonna interview you now. See, oh, this yeah? is, nice. cool. yes, I'm comedian, Nate Bargetzi. Nice, Gordon Holden. Yeah, Gordon. I've heard of you, never heard of me, that's yeah. cool. Uh, this is the same we were talking about. Do you count a hole in one? 
like you got a hole one out of here today. Yeah. Would you count that as a legit hole in one? Like, would you tell if people said how many hole in ones you have? Do you just say one and never mention that it's a par three, or do you have oh, to explain? Oh, I'd it? count it. I'd count it. Yeah. And you wouldn't even explain it. You wouldn't be like, well, I would say a it's a par three. I'd say it's a par three, but I just I'd give the yard shoot. I'd be like, it was uh, 119 yards. I feel like these, like the shortest ones, like. 107, maybe 98 yards. Yeah. But I'd, I'd probably give the yardage. I'll just be yeah. like, it's par three. And, this and when you yard. see the sign that says 107, do you repeat the yardage or would you would you ever go like, this is 105 yards, even though the sign says 107? Yeah, I'd round, I'd round for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, this, that doesn't even make sense. That, yeah. That's what he does. So over here on the ground, it says like 116 or 118. Oh, is that what you were looking for? Oh, I didn't even see yeah, that. So this was, these are the old markers from the from when they first built it. I think this is more accurate because if you try to play 107, you'll be just a little bit short. Wait, are you like, are you the club historian? I live right there. I, I probably, when I first started golfing, I golfed here like every day. Well, um, you I go rap. first. What do you got here? You got two Vokies. I got a oh, 52 no, you got a... and a nine. So I only bring, only bring three. You clubs. got a handicap. What's your handicap? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a nine. Nine handicap? Nine handicap. Slumming it at the lowest for this par three. Hey, it's, just, it's a practice day, you know? I like My it. wife's at work. She's got a late lunch day. How many hole in ones do you have, Gordon? I have none. Don't show how short I am. <laughs> <laughs> the drop is... It's a drop. I play. Oh! 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 It's a birdie. I ju we just said, we're gonna make some birdies. I didn't think that was gonna be it. That's a lot of pressure I have. Oh, that looked good. All right, eighth hole, coming down to it, all tied up. Oh, that's oh, looking good. Be enough. Shocking, 99. 99. I mean, it's 99. The signs are new. I think the guy that did is like, that's for the dude who put those signs up. Good for you, man. I'm happy with the tie, because then we can reconvene at a later date. Nate's got to putt through the leaves and it's not so good here. Check out this line. Uh, that took all, the leaf took all the pace. The second leaf really slowed it down. Oh. Woo! Thanks, Pat. There you go. Last hole, number nine. Nate and I are all square. Both one over. This is the big one here, 128. Clubhouse in the background, Nate's on the box. I'm definitely playing the number on the plaque, not on the ground. Weaving in the difficulty of your job and getting to where you've been, what can you offer as far as experience from, from what you've learned? Uh, you, you, I mean, you gotta just dive all in. You have to be obsessed. I always tell everybody you have to be very, you have to be obsessed. So whatever you wanna go do, whether it's this or stand up or, write a book or whatever it is, you have to be obsessed with it. And you can't just like half do it because you're trying to win the lottery. So in order to win the lottery, like you don't deserve it. No one needs you to do this show. No one needs me to do stand up. No one's like, is like, we have to have you just for life to live on. Like we're, we got to make it so good that you, people do want to watch you do this thing. So if you want to do that and you want to dive into that thing, you have to like be completely, completely obsessed whatever your normal life of like, whether it be relationships or it be whatever it is, stuff has to take back seats and you have to be completely focused because you're trying to do something that is not owed to you. You know, for you with your show, like, you know, like I watch your stuff and like, so, but you're constantly putting stuff out. You're constantly having new stuff for me to see. And if the second you don't, is the second that I'm gone and probably watching another person that is. Right. You're either gonna put in the work or you're not gonna put in the work. Right. Gordon, the uh, marker over here. Here's what I hope, Coming what I there. wished is if uh, Gordon had lied to his girlfriend about playing golf today and now it's all on tape. <laughs> Busted. Have to, to my wife, like, yeah, she's at dinner. Yeah, she's at yeah. dinner, so. I think I got the, the hall pass today. And you're good. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Because I would have loved for her to be like, just hope she doesn't find this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's past you. You're going to be in the title of the video. Who, yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, a little, little post-round interview. Nate, uh, how did it go out there today? I lost a lot. You know, I mean, you, you hate to lose with a chip in birdie like that. 
but uh, I'm excited to get a chip and birdie. I, you know, I put myself, I clubbed up too much, and I, I can't be mad about the the strike that I made when I went over. I, I've learned to, even if you go long, just be. I was very happy with the, the contact, and that's what it's about. And this, this is a cool, cool course. We met Gordon. Uh, he's in, Gordon's in our life now. We're gonna be all in it, dude. We're gonna, you know. Are you so. gonna go home and watch Nate's Netflix special? Hell yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hi, thanks, buddy. Uh, so yeah, it was a, a wonderful day. Yeah.